So I'm sure this has happened to you before. You spend so much time filming and editing and going through your reels and then you post them on Instagram and they end up looking like this. And you're probably asking yourself, how do I get these reels to look actually good on Instagram when there is so much media fed into this platform every day, so Instagram has to deal with compression. And compression is one thing, but uploading really looking real is another. So let me show you how to export your Instagram reel the best way using DaVinci Resolve 18. And yes, I switched to DaVinci Resolve 18 a few months back and yes, it was mostly because Sam called their video, but also a few other creators that I really like switched to DaVinci recently, like Ryan Cow, and I just felt the need of doing something different, of using something different, and Premiere Pro has never felt complete to me, so switching to DaVinci was definitely a game changer, and I'm really, really happy I did it. So if you're considering it, and you're just watching this video for fun, give it a shot because 300 bucks is not that much money and you can use, in, use the beta version first and see how you like it. But to me, it was a non-brainer and since I switched, there's not going back. So I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible. So let's assume you already done your reel, everything's done. So let's jump straight into your delivery page. And delivery page is where you export your footage in DaVinci Resolve. So when you hop onto your delivery page, you're gonna see a bunch of different uh, pre-existing settings, I'd say, that you can choose for templates. And usually what I do, I just go into the custom one and then I use this one. And I personalize one for me, to be honest, because it's just quicker. But let's start from zero. So we're gonna choose MP4 as format, as that's the best format you can get. And then we're gonna choose H.265 as a codec. You can also use H.264, but I prefer to use H.265 just because I think it looks better. I don't know if it's true, but it just looks better. Then down here on the quality, we're gonna tick the restricting button because we don't want our quality to go up and down throughout the video. We want the quality to be consistent all throughout the video. So we're gonna click on restricted and this is pretty much the equivalent of the double of your frame is. So let's say you're exporting at 24 frames per second, you want this to be at 50,000. And if you export this at 60 or 120 frames per second, I'm gonna keep this at 120,000. I always export at 24 frames per second, so this is always at 50,000 for me. Okay, this is one thing that actually took me a little bit to figure out because I couldn't find a tutorial or I couldn't find something that actually showed me what I wanted. And I've noticed like anytime I exported something, it didn't really look the same color as what I just color graded in DaVinci and pretty much the same as Premiere Pro. Sometimes you export and it's a bit less saturated or a bit more weird looking. So this is really important if this is your problem. So we're gonna go down here to advanced settings and we're gonna change our color space tag to P3 DCI and then our gamma tag to sRGB. By using this specific setting, you can make sure that when you export, your file is gonna look exactly, exactly the way you just color graded. And I've tried absolutely everything and this is the only way that I get the same colors that I just edited on my phone and on my laptop. So these are my favorite settings to use down here. Once that's done, you're gonna click add to render and you can then render it and it's exported. Now, Obviously, also how you send your file to your phone makes a lot of difference. I have a MacBook and I have an iPhone, so I just use AirDrop as that's by far the only way you can keep the full quality. If you don't have that, you can use something like WeTransfer or Dropbox or Google Drive. Any of these services will keep 100% of the quality when you download it on your phone. Once that's done, also make sure to go into settings and tap into the data usage and make sure you have high quality upload ticked on and that way you have high quality uploads, pretty much. And also I've noticed makes a lot of difference that if you upload your reel under a very bad internet connection, it will compress it more. And that is also a thing for stories. So if you ever wonder why your stories don't look as good as when you look on your phone, it's probably because your internet, when you uploaded the story, it's not the best. So I usually always upload reels from home 
and uh, I just make sure my connection is good when I do so. And that is it for today guys, I hope Uriel will start looking the best now and if you have any other questions please leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video which is probably gonna be next week. Peace and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as always and I'll see you soon. Peace. How cool are these mics from Small Rig by the way? Very, very cool. Very small, very portable. Bluetooth.